see him in Richmond, Virginia, just days away from the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim. Tonight, we welcome you to another edition of Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania. And in tonight's main event, we got major Elimination Chamber implications on the line. Six women will compete inside the structure in Anaheim for a shot at the Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Tonight, we decide another participant when the boss, Sasha Banks, meets a mystery challenger in the main event with the winner qualifying for the Elimination Chamber match on the 22nd of January. Who's it gonna be? We find out later tonight on Raw. We kick things off tonight in the Richmond Coliseum with the phenomenal AJ Styles in action for the first time since coming up short against Randy Orton for the WWE Championship back on January 1st at the Royal Rumble. AJ Styles back in action tonight and looking to bounce back in in-ring competition on the road to WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, the Phenomenal AJ Styles is making a lot of noise over the last month here on Monday Night Raw. Victories over Austin Theory and Rob Van Dam. He took Karrion Cross to the limit. Unfortunately, came up short through the WWE Champion Randy Orton getting involved. And then again, at the Royal Rumble, Styles was caught out of nowhere with an RKO that put an end to Styles' chances to becoming WWE Champion. And now on the road to WrestleMania, that man, the phenomenal one, looks to find a new path to the grandest stage of them all. But tonight, he needs to stay focused as he's got his hands full with a man who has been the center of controversy here on Monday Night Raw as of light, that being the prize fighter, Kevin Owens, alongside his best friend, Sami Zayn. What a matchup to kick us off here in Richmond. And his opponent, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. You want to talk about the Royal Rumble. Kevin Owens, of course, defeated the Rated R Superstar Edge on that night in a no-holds-barred match. But it wasn't without the assist of his best friend, Sami Zayn, who got involved and laid waste to Edge in the center of his hometown of Toronto. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn back together, reunited here on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn recently picked up a victory against Angelo Dawkins. And now the prize fighter is back in action here tonight with Sami in his corner versus an old rival and AJ Styles. These are the type of matches that lead us on the road to WrestleMania. It's a big fight feel here to kick off a very implication night on Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles KO to kick us off later tonight. The boss, Sasha Banks, in action for the first time since the Royal Rumble as she's set against a mystery opponent in an Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. And here we go, Styles and Kevin Owens here tonight in Richmond, Virginia. Legendary Richmond Coliseum. Of course, coming up on January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday night, the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, which will be our final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. And already signed for that event, the WWE Championship of Monday Night Raw will be on the line. And the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, who we saw in action last week victorious against Dominic Dijakovic, he will defend the gold against the number one contender, Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam. Also coming up for Monday Night Raw at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, defends the Women's Championship of the World against the number one contender, Tegan Knox. And as we mentioned, there will be a six-woman Elimination Chamber matchup, where the winner will challenge either Asuka or Tegan Knox for the gold at WrestleMania. Sasha Banks, Gonna have her opportunity to qualify later against a mystery opponent. Bailey, Rhea Ripley, and Shotzi already qualified for that matchup last week. Still much more to come. Wait a minute, Kevin Owens here. Small package on Styles trying to steal the win. Not just yet. Still much more to come on the Elimination Chamber card, including the Intercontinental Championship matchup that was signed this past Friday night on SmackDown due to the events of last week here on Raw. Bruiserweight Pete Dunger to defend against the undefeated Karrion Cross. And look at that maneuver by Styles. 
Catching the bigger competitor off the Spanish fly. The phenomenal one trying to get rolling here on Monday Night Raw. As we mentioned, AJ Styles is really picking up steam here on the red brand over the last month. Victories over Austin Theory, victories over the man who is now the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Rob Van Dam. Styles and Orton in the lead up to the Royal Rumble were participating in that pick your poison. Orton shows the undefeated Karrion Cross to fight AJ Styles. And Styles looked to be on the verge of handing Cross his first loss. That was until the WWE Champion got involved. And AJ Styles was knocked out cold, passed down the center of the ring to the straight jacket. And Styles was trying to bounce back at the Royal Rumble, try to become the WWE Champion yet again and find his road to WrestleMania. But unfortunately, out of nowhere, was caught with an RKO. And that spelled the end of Styles' championship dreams. And Styles trying to focus on a new challenge here tonight in Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens, look at that senton by Styles. He's not looking too, too hot for the phenomenal one right now. And as for Kevin Owens, as we mentioned, he's been on a winning streak ever since returning to Monday Night Raw. He owns victories over Montez Ford, Big E, and of course, Kevin Owens defeated the rated R superstar Edge at the Royal Rumble in the no holds barred match thanks to his best friend, Sami Zayn, returning for the first time all year. Sami Zayn with a victory over Angelo Dawkins recently here on Monday Night Raw. Now Kevin Owens looking to get back on track here again. First time since the Rumble. Styles could be going for that phenomenal forearm. He's on the outside of the ring, but here comes KO. And AJ Styles saw Owens was aware of the surroundings. Gets back into the ring and a nice insiguri by the phenomenal one. And we didn't call it a few moments ago, but Sami Zayn was up on the apron and AJ Styles with a burning hammer to Kevin Owens. Might have knocked the lights out of the prize fighter. And now under the apron, phenomenal forearm incoming to Kevin Owens sidestepped it. Styles was looking to put the exclamation point on this matchup. Owens was having none of it. It was a big time counter there by Kevin Owens, saving his chances in your opening matchup here tonight in Richmond. Sami Zayn tried taking AJ Styles' eye off the ball a few moments ago. Styles obviously locked in here tonight, but now the momentum has certainly changed in this contest versus Kevin Owens. And now Owens heading to the top rope. Big time splash to Styles. You remember at the Royal Rumble after Sami Zayn had laid out Edge, Kevin Owens followed it up. First a powerbomb to the outside of the ring, but then rolled Edge back into the ring. A top rope maneuver by KO was all she wrote. You know, speaking of Edge, we talked about it at the Royal Rumble in Toronto, but there's no way the Ray Lars superstar is just going to be left laying down after what Kevin Owens and now Sami Zayn have done to him for the last few months. Kevin Owens put Edge on the shelf for weeks in the role after Survivor Series after Edge was already banged up from hell in the cell. Edge came back for vengeance at the Royal Rumble, but Kevin Owens came in with a B plan, and that being Sami Zayn, and you got to believe Edge is going to be back for more sometime or another. And nonetheless, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn just looking to focus on what they want to focus on. Tonight, that's AJ Styles, but who knows? Owens and Zayn back together here on Raw. They could be eyeing up a tag team championship in the future. You don't know with KO and Sami. Owens dropping AJ Styles with that DDT into the cover, not just yet. Rope break right there. Costly misstep by the prize fighters. We have got a banger going on here on Monday Night Raw. These two men going out of here to kick us off on the Raw here in Richmond. Second to last Monday Night Raw before the Elimination Chamber on Sunday night, January the 22nd. Whitman Styles into the cover on Kevin Owens here, and Owens gets the shoulder up again. Again, Elimination Chamber will be your final pay-per-view on the road to WrestleMania, Anaheim, California. It's going to be a big night on the 22nd of January, and Owens again gets the shoulder up. And Styles has got to stay focused here. He can't let some of those recent losses to carry it across and Randy Orton plague his mindset here tonight and allow him to not put Kevin Owens away. Owens taking him to the outside there, and now an axe hammer from the apron. These two men know each other well. They've battled out many a times in the past. Eight back to 2017, Kevin Owens and AJ battled out for months over the United States Championship on Friday Night SmackDown and even the WWE Championship in early 2018. 
Two men have been inside the square circle with each other. They know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and that is playing in to this matchup here tonight as Owens, an exploder on the outside. Styles is down. Owens going to be happy to take a count out victory here. Count of six. AJ is in trouble. And a seven. Styles has got to get to his feet before he gets counted out. And this match is done and over with here tonight in Richmond, Virginia. And AJ heading back into the ring. We see Kevin Owens lying in wait. And attacks AJ upon entering the ring. Sami Zayn loves what he sees at ringside. The best friend of Kevin Owens watching his back at all times. As KO watched Sami's back in that matchup against Dawkins recently here on Raw. Well, AJ into the cover. Knocks KO off his feet, and Kevin Owens again survives. Back and forth. Neither one of these men able to put each other away. Here to kick us off on Raw. Sammy's there, excuse me, AJ's down. Super kick and a sent time by the prize fighter. Kevin Owens looking to put AJ Styles away here tonight. And pumbles him off that shot. AJ is dazed and confused, and Kevin Owens is lying in wait. Pop up power bomb to AJ Styles. And that is going to do it. AJ tried fighting back, but Kevin Owens had him in a predicament and stuck him there. The pop-up powerbomb, all she wrote to conclude this opening matchup here tonight on Raw. A disappointing loss for AJ Styles coming off the loss at the Royal Rumble, but unfortunately tonight belongs to the prize fighter. Here is your winner, Kevin. Well, it's been victory after victory lately for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. AJ's down on the outside. Kevin Owens, come on! A senton crushing the rib cage of AJ Styles. The damn match is over with, and now follows it up with a stunner. Nobody is safe from Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Those two men are looking to take over Monday Night Raw one week at a time. And with tonight's victory, they have done just that yet again. Somebody get this guy out of here. We don't need any more from Kevin Owens tonight on Raw. Well, Sasha Banks not the only one looking to qualify for the Elimination Chamber tonight. We got another Elimination Chamber qualifying match set right now. Grand Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Already qualified for Anaheim, California, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, Damage Controls, Bailey, and the former WWE Women's Champion, the Ballsy Badass, Shotzi. Three slots already filled and three more to go. Two of them gonna be decided right here tonight on Raw. Alexa Bliss set to go one-on-one -on -one with Raquel Gonzalez, the former NXT Women's Champion. And a woman we have speculated is going to break out any match now here in the WWE. And it could very well be tonight in this Elimination Chamber qualifying match. And still to come in your main event, another Women's Elimination Chamber qualifier set to take place as the boss, Sasha Banks, returns to Raw for the first time since the Royal Rumble. And she will take on a mystery opponent. Who is that going to be? We are going to find out later tonight here in Richmond. But here we go, the goddess Alexa Bliss also looking to bounce back after some recent losses. Remember her and Liv Morgan had an opportunity to become the number one contenders for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Back on Saturday night's main event on December the 21st, came up short. That matchup would have taken place at the Royal Rumble and hell, Bliss and Liv would have had their opportunity to be Women's Tag Team Champions again. Of course, I say again, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan did have an opportunity to win those titles originally back on December the 7th at Raw Homecoming. They came up short, so Alexa, a lot of losses as of late in the big match situations, but with the Elimination Chamber spot on the line here tonight, is she gonna bounce back? So far, so good against the former NXT Women's Champion Raquel Gonzalez and the bigger, stronger competitor, woman handle and Alexa Bliss right now. Alexa came out firing the early going, but there's Raquel using her strength to his advantage. And that's absolutely what she's got to do in this matchup against the former women's champion in her own right, Alexa Bliss. And her strength there brings Bliss down to the mat. Now look at Raquel. Maybe going for a submission hold here, maybe a burning hammer. Oh, look at this, torture rack by Raquel Gonzalez. 
She's breaking the back of the goddess Alexa Bliss. She's wrenching it in, and Alexa Bliss has got no choice. Raquel is going to the elimination chamber. Short and sweet. Raquel Gonzalez making an impact here tonight. Alexa gave her all out, the, out of the bell, but that woman right there outlasting the fury from Bliss and has punched her ticket to Anaheim, California. It looks like Alexa Bliss respecting the onslaught from Raquel here tonight, a sign of respect between these two women. You love to see it after a competitive fight, but in the end, Raquel Gonzalez, is this gonna be the breakout year for her in the WWE? She's got an opportunity to go to WrestleMania. She will be one of six inside the Elimination Chamber. Well, the action continues here tonight in the Richmond Coliseum in Richmond, Virginia, as Ilya Dragunov takes on the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal, plus the WWE Women's Champion, Asuka, one-on-one -on -one with Doe Drop. A little bit of a warm-up before the Elimination Chamber. And the results of those contests see the invincible Ilya Dragunov picking off the victory over Jinder Mahal tonight on Raw, plus the Women's Champion builds momentum to Anaheim against Tegan Knox as she defeats Doe Drop here tonight in Richmond on Monday Night Raw. Back inside the Richmond Coliseum as Monday Night Raw rolls on towards the Elimination Chamber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Tommaso Ciampa, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions. We want to take you back to two weeks ago here on Raw when the New Day's Kofi Kingston took on one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Tommaso Ciampa. This matchup looming after DIY had defeated and laid out the New Day in the Tag Team Eliminator on the road to the Royal Rumble. Kofi Kingston out for revenge and was able to upset Tommaso Ciampa in that one-on-one -on -one matchup two weeks ago. So now tonight, the rivalry between DIY and the New Day continues as Johnny Gargano of the World Tag Team Champions is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the New Day's Xavier Woods. A matchup that could very well have number one contender's implications. And his opponent, accompanied by Kofi Kingston, representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier! Woods. The New Day have had many tag team championship reigns over their eight years together here in the WWE. But they could very well be eyeing up Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa looking to get another World Tag Team Championship reign in the future. Kofi Kingston defeated Tommaso a few weeks ago. If Xavier Woods can defeat Johnny Gargano here tonight, you gotta believe that puts the New Day in line for a future championship opportunity. DIY know they can defeat the New Day in tag team action, but so far so good for Kofi and Woods in singles action. Is their momentum going to continue tonight here on Raw in Richmond? Still to come, the Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup in the main event as the boss Sasha Banks meets a mystery competitor. The spot inside the Women's Elimination Chamber hanging in the balance, but here we go tonight. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, DIY's Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano takes on the New Day's Xavier Woods here on Raw. Johnny Gargano and Champa ending the reign of Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble in Toronto. Following their first run with the WWE Tag Team Championships. Of course, they are former NXT Tag Team Champions as well. And I like Gargano and Champa. Now, like the egotistical attitude of Johnny Wrestling, you might not like the cold heart of the Blackheart Champa. At the end of the day, we cannot knock their abilities from bell to bell. They know how to get it done, and that's the reason they are holding the World Tag Team Championships of WWE. Johnny Wrestling trying to get momentum back on DIY's side, however, tonight after Champa came up short to Kofi two weeks ago on Raw. So far, so good. Going for the cover, but Woods gets the shoulder up. I'm going to take a guess here that Johnny Gargano, the more technical of these two wrestlers, 
Xavier Woods most likely the more powerful of these two wrestlers, but both of them know how to take it to the sky. And a high risk maneuver gets some momentum back in the corner of Xavier Woods here, trying to mount some momentum for the new day. Woods and Kofi got to be eyeing up Gargano and Champa for a future World Tag Team title opportunity. They get this done here tonight. They very well could be next in line for a shot at the gold. Remember, as we mentioned, this all started in the Tag Team Eliminator in the lead up to the Royal Rumble. DIY had defeated Kofi and Woods, but it was after the matchup where DIY was looking to make a statement. They laid out Gargano, or excuse me, they laid out Kofi and Woods, rolled him out of the ring just to make a statement to the rest of the Monday Night Raw locker room, and specifically everyone in the Tag Team Eliminator. Kofi and Woods not taking too kindly of that. Gargano and Champa may have gotten their way at the Royal Rumble, but Woods and Kofi not laying down. For all that's well for Gargano and Champa, they're coming back for more, and they want a shot at the tag team titles. And our Gargano, we're going to make sure that, that ain't going to happen anytime soon. Into the cover, not watching the ring awareness there. That's a rookie mistake by a veteran in Johnny Wrestling. Gargano beating down on Woods here. Xavier was trying to build some momentum for the new day. We see Johnny Wrestling so technically sound inside of that ring, was able to cut him off. DIY looking good in this singles matchup tonight on Monday Night Raw. Tommaso Ciampa, you know, that was his first singles loss since coming up to the main roster. First loss uh, at all since coming up to the main roster back in the month of August. Johnny Gargano is yet to lose in singles action or in tag team action, so a little bit of that undefeated streak, a little bit of that ego on the line tonight. On top of just trying to get back things for DIY against the New Day. Look at this. Xavier Woods in all types of trouble there. Gargano flipping him inside out. Woods goes crashing on the canvas. In Richmond, Virginia enjoying the show that Gargano and Woods are putting on for him here tonight. Again, you might not like Johnny Gargano, but you got to respect the abilities. And now look at Woods. Down goes Gargano face first into the canvas. It's Tommaso Ciampa trying to take Woods' eye off the ball here. And Woods smart to not let it get him too much. But Gargano's down and out. This could be all she wrote. Woods is heading to the top rope. Johnny's getting his getting to his feet, trying to get his wits about him. Woods gonna look for something else. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh my goodness, Gargano. Did you see the flip inside out? Into the cover. Is that all she wrote? Xavier Woods picks up the victory tonight on Raw. Well, that is not gonna go well for DIY. What a win for the New Day. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston may have just put themselves. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Camera's cut to the back. That's the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunn and the undefeated Karrion Cross. Cross laid out Pete Dunn last week on Raw. These two men will fight in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber. It looks like Karrion Cross and Pete Dunn are not waiting for Anaheim. These two men brawling in the backstage area here tonight in Richmond. I don't know who started this fight, but nonetheless, Kerry and Cross may have just taken the Intercontinental Champion's head off. Very well could have been Cross trying to get an upper hand before the chamber. Very well could have been Pete Dunn trying to get retribution for last yeah. week. And Pete Dunn goes crashing onto the concrete through the table. We need to get some help back there. Separate these two men before they destroy each other, before they fight for the Intercontinental Championship on the 22nd of January. Oh, wait a minute, and Cross just laid out Pete Dunn with a lariat. Oh, Pete is rocked right now. The undefeated Karrion Cross sees an opportunity to make a statement to Pete Dunn, as well as the entire WWE locker room. Get some damn help out there, because the Intercontinental Champion may be concussed for good. Well, next time we come your way for a live premiere, it is Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We are heading to the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, for the Elimination Chamber. And the two men who you just saw brawling away in the backstage area will meet for the Intercontinental Championship. It is the undefeated Karrion Cross, along with Scarlett, going one-on-one -on -one with the bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. This is going to be a fight for the gold in Anaheim. The WWE Women's Championship to be defended as Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow, puts the gold on the line against the new number one contender, Tegan Knox, who will walk into WrestleMania as the Women's Champion.
This matchup just signed moments ago. The New Day officially earned themselves an opportunity to become the World Tag Team Champions of the WWE yet again. It's Gargano and Ciampa versus Kofi and Woods for the WWE Tag Team Championships. It is the Monday Night Raw main event. The WWE Championship is on the line. Mr. Monday Night retrieved the briefcase two weeks ago on Raw to earn this opportunity. Now, RVD fights Randy Orton. The winner goes to Mania to fight Matt Riddle. The SmackDown main event features the World Heavyweight Championship on the line as Seth freaking Rollins defends the gold against the show off, the number one contender, Dolph Ziggler. And it is the men's elimination chamber matchup where the winner will fight the World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania. So far, Mustafa Ali and Drew McIntyre have qualified. Four more spots still to be decided. Who is going to WrestleMania to fight either Dolph Ziggler or Seth Rollins from Friday Night SmackDown? And of course, we will have the women's elimination chamber matchup in Anaheim as well. Who will fight either Tegan Knox or Asuka for the WWE Women's Championship on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania? It very well could be this woman, the boss, Sasha Banks, set for your main event tonight on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Sasha Banks! Sasha Banks has had a decorated career here in the WWE. Former Raw Women's Champion, former SmackDown Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Champion, one half of the inaugural Women's Tag Team Champions. We know what Sasha Banks is looking to achieve next. That's a win inside the Elimination Chamber and solidifying her spot for the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. An event she has main evented in the past, but she looks to either fight Tegan Knox or the Empress of Tomorrow in Tampa Bay at WrestleMania. But first, Sasha's got to get through this matchup here tonight. Who is Banks going up against? Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in over a year, the man, Becky Lynch, is here on Monday Night Raw. Set to fight an old rival in the ball of Sasha Banks for a spot inside the Elimination Chamber. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch has been on the shelf with a shoulder injury for almost a year. She is back here tonight and a spot inside the Elimination Chamber hangs in the balance. Sasha's got to be wondering, this is not the challenge she expected here tonight. The two women who know each other very well are set to duke it out in your main event here in Richmond. The Richmond Coliseum gets a treat. It's a women's elimination chamber qualifying matchup. Shatsy, Rhea Ripley, Bailey, and Raquel Gonzalez have already qualified. Two more spots to be determined. One of them going to be filled right here in your main event of Raw. We are underway, and Richmond has come unglued for the return of the man, Becky Lynch, as she takes the fight to Sasha Banks right off the get-go here. Sasha gets the shoulder up, but Sasha's got to be thinking inside of her head. This was not the challenge she expected. Got to put a blueprint together. Got to put a game plan together to try to defeat Becky Lynch. Of course, the positive is Sasha has been in there with Becky in the past. These two women have gone to war with each other inside Hell in the Cell and great wrestling matches over the year in NXT and on the main roster. Tonight gonna be another chapter in their storied rivalry with high implications, Elimination Chamber, which could very well lead to a WrestleMania main event. Sasha off the suplex, Becky Lynch gets the shoulder up. This is gonna be one hell of a matchup here on Monday Night Raw. We wanna thank you for joining us. Just days away from the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim, which will be a live premiere Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern time. But tonight it's going to be your final pay-per-view spot on the road to WrestleMania. Becky off the double leg drops, gets the kick out by Sasha. Becky Lynch has got to be coming in 110% tonight. Sasha Banks this is her first matchup since the Royal Rumble on January 1st, where her and Naomi came up short to become the women's tag team champions against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. 
Sasha looking to bounce back from that loss here tonight. Singles action for her. Been a little bit since we've seen the Boston singles action here on the main roster on Monday Night Raw. Now Sasha taking the fight to Becky Lynch. Look at this. Her turn around by the boss. Sasha Banks definitely knows how to take it to the air, especially in comparison to her opponent here tonight as she heads back up to the top and a frog splash into the cover. Is Sasha going to Anaheim? Not just yet. As we mentioned, already qualified for the Women's Elimination Chamber matchup. Damage controls Bailey, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, the former Women's Champion, that being the ballsy badass Shotzi. And of course, earlier tonight, we saw Raquel Gonzalez tap out Alexa Bliss earning her spot in the matchup. So the fifth of the six spots gonna be determined right now. Either Becky Lynch or Sasha Banks. The final spot will be determined on your final Monday Night Raw before the Elimination Chamber. Like getting taken to the outside, and Sasha Banks gets hung up on the barricade. Sasha Banks, they don't call her the blueprint for nothing. I'm sure she has put together a strategy slowly but surely in her head, but right now, Becky's picking her apart at ringside, and Becky Lynch, on the other hand, has had all day here in Richmond to prepare for Sasha Banks. I'd imagine Becky Lynch is coming in with more of a strategy, more prepared to fight Sasha opposed to the other end. Nice arm drag there by the man. Becky Lynch has been to the top of the mountain before. She has won the Royal Rumble matchup. She's main event in WrestleMania. She's held all the gold. She's looking to do it again, but first she's got to get through Sasha, and then she'll have five other challengers in the Elimination Chamber matchup if and when she can even get through the boss tonight. He can't overlook Sasha Banks. Sasha's had a few opportunities to become the women's champion over the last year. Unfortunately, haven't worked out for her, but tonight could be the opportunity that she's been looking for. It's Becky, he's back out on the outside. Oh, a manhandle slam on the top of the barricade. I continue, Sasha's trying to fight back, but Becky Lynch having none of it. Of course, the women's championship will be determined in Anaheim, California as well. Number one contender, Tegan Knox. Set to fight the Empress of tomorrow, Asuka. Defeated Dodrop earlier tonight on Monday Night Raw. This will be Asuka's first championship defense since winning the championship again in her WWE career back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. That final encounter meeting against Shotzi. What a matchup it was in Toronto. Whether it be Asuka or Tegan Knox defending the women's championship at the grandest stage of them all, we will have our answer as to what the women's championship match at WrestleMania is going to be by the time Elimination Chamber comes to an end on the 22nd of January. Is Sasha Banks going? Not just yet. Sasha again taking it to the air. Seems to be part of her strategy tonight is those high-risk maneuvers to try to defeat Becky Lynch. Nice corkscrew by the man. And for an axe handle there, Sasha able to sidestep it. Who is going to get the advantage? Becky goes for a shot. Sasha counters, slamming her down on the canvas. Does the legit boss. The night of action has been here tonight in Richmond. Kevin Owens picks up the victory over AJ Styles to kick us off on Raw. And that heinous assault after the matchup. The senton off the apron, followed up with a stunner at ringside. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn gonna watch through their cross in the Monday Night Raw locker room. They're gonna start building up a list of enemies faster than we can count. Look at Sasha off the top rope. Into the cover on Becky Lynch. Will that be all? And again, Becky gets the shoulder up. Sasha went to the well again with that splash. Was able to hit it, but unfortunately, not enough to keep Becky Lynch down. Snap suplex. Sasha has yet to pull out some of her best maneuvers in her arsenal. We haven't seen her go for the boss statement yet. The bank statement, excuse me. We'll be saving that for a rainier day in this contest. Not trying to expose all of her cards just yet in this main event tonight in Richmond, especially with such a high stakes situation. And look at this, Becky Lynch rolling up Sasha Banks, got her all tied up here. And Sasha able to break out of it just at the last second. And now Sasha counters and again, slamming Becky on the canvas. And we gotta assume Becky's been on the shelf so long, that she's gotta be coming in with 100% tonight, but who knows when Becky Lynch actually got cleared to compete. She could have got cleared as soon, or excuse me, as early as last week, and maybe she's rushing coming back. You know, it's been a while since she's been inside of the ring. You gotta wonder if there's any ring rust for the man as well. That could play in. 
to the favor of Sasha Banks here tonight. Back up to the outside, nonetheless, and Sasha Banks, look at this, wrenching it in on the back of Becky on the outside. Becky was nursing a shoulder injury, could very well feel it in the mid-back as well. Wrenching on the back of the knees, Sasha Banks, you can't win the match out there, but it can certainly do some damage on her opponent. Three. Any means necessary for a spot inside the Elimination Chamber on January 22nd. Both these women taking a moment to soak it in here late in Richmond. Also try to catch a breath, rethink the strategy, and Becky almost taking Sasha's head off at the clothesline. Oh, nice maneuver by Becky. A suplex variation. Some great wrestling here tonight in your main event. Such high stakes. Neither one of these women pulling out their best shots yet, saving them, as we mentioned earlier, for a rainier day in this match. Sasha down, Becky taking the momentum back, and what a forearm strike. Strong style from Becky here tonight as now she heads to the top rope. Goes for the leg drop and she hits it. And will that be all she wrote? Becky into the cover, Sasha gets the shoulder up, and the Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup continues here tonight. And how is the strategy for these two women gonna change as we get into the later rounds of this contest? We're nearing championship rounds between the boss and the man. Neither one of these women looking to give up the opportunity that could possibly lead them to a championship match at WrestleMania. Sasha down again, Becky going back to the well with those leg drops. She hit these earlier, it paid her dividends, and I'm going back to the well with what works. Another leg drops, Knox going for the cover. She's heading back up to the top rope and drops an elbow for good measures. Becky leaving it all on the line here tonight. Is that gonna do it? And Sasha Banks again gets the shoulder up. And Sasha really had to give that kick out her all there. You see it took a lot of energy out of the boss to survive another moment in this contest. How much longer can these two women fight? And Sasha takes a fall to the outside of the ring by the hands of Becky Lynch. Whoa. Bailey, Rhea Ripley, Shotzi, and Raquel Gonzalez all gonna be looking on. Even Asuka and Tegan Knox gotta be looking on. They could potentially be looking at one of their WrestleMania opponents. Three. Again, we're gonna find out by the end of the Elimination Chamber who the two women will be competing for the Women's Championship at WrestleMania. One of the six women inside the Elimination Chamber matchup, and then Oscar or Tegan Knox will be defending the gold on the grandest stage of them all in Tampa Bay, Florida. And Becky Lynch unloading on Sasha Banks in the corner. An exploder suplex. And now again, Becky is unloading with these leg drops tonight. And Sasha has got no answer for it. Dazed and confused, Becky Lynch off the leg drop. Or excuse me, the drop kick takes down Sasha Banks. Into the cover. There's no way Sasha can keep fighting on, but again, you cannot count out the boss. Sasha again gets the moment. Sasha's days, though, you see the damage is starting to catch up to her, able to knock Becky Lynch down there. Sasha's got to get back into this fight now or never, and it's been all Becky Lynch the last few minutes. There get so many opportunities for the Women's Championship. The Elimination Chamber match could be the spot that one of these women is looking for. Sasha into the cover of that emphatic arm drag, but Becky Lynch gets the shoulder off. The main event rolls on another moment. We are live tonight from the Richmond Coliseum, Richmond, Virginia. The second to last Monday Night Raw for the Elimination Chamber on the road to WrestleMania. We are in the midst of a Women's Elimination Chamber qualifying match between the boss Sasha Banks and the returning Becky Lynch. These two women are tearing down the house. Neither one of them looking to give up this opportunity here tonight. Sasha, oh wait, goes for the suplex. Becky, hit with a counter, pops the hips with the German. And Sasha still dazed, man. She had an opportunity to get back in it. Not able to capitalize. Oh, wait a minute, Becky. Oh, look at this. Going for the disarmor, I believe. Becky Lynch, too close to the ropes there. Becky, unfortunately, not watching her ring awareness. And you can almost blame that on the ring rust of the man. This being her first in-ring competition in over a year here in the WWE. Becky might have just cost herself. That might have been her best opportunity to put Sasha Banks away off the disarmor. 
But Sasha Banks better be counting her lucky stars because she was saved by the ropes on that. Now he's got an opportunity. An open window for Sasha here. Unloading on Becky and a knee to the head. Almost a shining wizard, perhaps, by the boss Sasha Banks. And now up to the middle rope. Sasha's got something in mind. The wheels are spinning as she's trying to get back in. Goes for the Meteora, but Becky sidesteps it. And Sasha's knees eat the canvas. Wait a minute. Oh, Becky's going back to the well. This time a little farther away from the ropes. Disormer is locked in. And Sasha Banks has got no choice but to tap out. Becky Lynch in her return punches her ticket to Sunday night, January the 22nd. The man is going to the Elimination Chamber. What a main event tonight in Richmond. But there's the field thus far. Raquel, Ripley, Bailey, Shotzi, and the man Becky Lynch, one more spot still to be determined in the women's Elimination Chamber matchup. Who is going to challenge either Oscar or Tegan Knox for the Women's Championship of the World on the grandest stage of them all at WrestleMania? Thank you for joining us tonight here in Richmond on Monday Night Raw. One more stop here on Raw before we get to the Elimination Chamber. Thank you, and good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.